And you know what? Beyond how much the, the, the property is worth, is the property insurable is a significant question. Because, of course, flooding insurance is provided by the federal government, the National Flood Insurance Program, a program that is already in the red big time because of all the money outlays that they've had to have in, in a world that is seeing increasing amounts of flooding damage, not just from the ocean, but also from uh, inland flooding. Uh, well, those prices are increasing for many uh, uh, properties. Some people uh, uh, that don't have a mortgage on their home maybe wish not to pay for flood insurance and take their chances. But if you have a mortgage in your house, if you don't have that option, can you still afford to live in that house? The Federal Emergency Management Agency updates the flood maps every five years. When FEMA finalized its latest zone study last August, Kevin, his neighbors, and thousands of other Bay Area residents discovered they would be forced to obtain flood coverage in addition to their regular homeowner's insurance. And the rates were anywhere between $4,500 up to $5,500. Will you have to sell that house at a discount because nobody else wants to pay that premium going forward? What about when banks start to say, you know, a 30-year loan in Miami Beach doesn't make a lot of sense to us uh, for our bottom line, because how much is that property really going to be worth 30 years down the road when there's two more feet of water uh, uh, in, in South Florida? If you can't get a 30-year mortgage, it has to be 15 or 10 or five years. Can people afford it? Bottom line, you see all these, all these branches here. What I'm aiming at is that I think there's going to be significant pressure on the real estate market here down the road in South Florida between uninsurability or unaffordability of that insurance and eventually pricing pressure, downward pricing pressure. So, you know, for a homeowner like me, I have to start thinking of when the sweet spot is in terms of when do I bail out of my property and try to maximize its value before it starts to go down due to some of these pressures that I'm talking about.